Hi guys, this is Faris and welcome back to Faris Lossi and I'm here with another new tutorial and in this video I will show you how to fix the oily skin, how to fix the harsh highlights or blown out highlights or you can say how to fix hot spots. So let's get started. So this is the picture I'm going to use today. You can see this area and also this area. And this area may be some in the fingers so these are the area I want to fix you can see uh, the skin looks like oily skin and also the highlights are a little bit harsh so we want to fix this at first I want to try the highlights and shadows adjustment layer uh, from the Photoshop so let's see so for this go to the image uh, okay, okay okay so go to the image then adjustment and you will find a shadows and highlights option just click on this and okay let's zoom out a little bit and see okay i don't want to uh, do anything with the shadow so leave it and now i want to increase okay make sure you have select the preview option and now increase the highlights gradually and see look at this look at the difference very very carefully look at this everything is not good here because look at this oily area look at this they are not going anywhere okay so i'm not happy with the result here because i think the oily looks more prominent after applying uh, this effect look at this so i'm not happy with this and i'm not gonna use it. to fix this problem i'm gonna use a third party plugin called mattifier by Ritas for me let's see how it works okay so i'm gonna make a copy of the layer by pressing command or ctrl and z and then go to the filter and here is the option Ritas for me and Ritas for me mattifier option okay it's done let's zoom in a little bit okay at first let's see the option here you can see the original by clicking on this look at look at the changes actually look at the changes if i click on the original it will show you the v4 look at this i think it's great it's really really looking great this area is is really really good also it's it's perfect and here is the brush and also the eraser option and and there is three mode here one is for closer portrait one is for half length portrait and one is for full length portrait okay and the uh, another option is blend option it controls the opacity of the effect okay so look at the changes here gradually increase the blend option and look at the changes I think around 80 to 85 is looking really good. Look at this. This was the before and this is after. You can click on the preview and see the masked area, see the affected area. Look at this. It's really, really good. Okay. I think 86 is looking really good to me or maybe 85. Okay. And there is another option called make mask if you active the make mask option that means it will create a new layer for the effect and it is a non-destructive way to do it so i am uh, now now just click on the app line and look at the new layer and the effect this was the before and this is after it looks really really good you can also decrease the opacity from here but i think it's looking really good so this is your affected area you can create a new layer just see look at this look at this look at the affected area it's really really good still you can create a mask here and erase if you want so it is a hundred percent non-destructive way to fix this i love this versatility of this plugin that is really really good and one more thing you will get 20 percent discount if you download from the link in the video description and i hope you love this tutorial if you did hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe